Dublin, Ireland. We are at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Only have a couple hours here, so this is the first of only four stops before we get to the airport and go home. Dublin is beautiful. It looks like worse weather than it really is, but it is beautiful here. Everything's green and lush. People are incredibly nice. It's beautiful. The original St. Patrick's. Hey everyone, so that introduction pretty much says it all. Dublin is a beautiful city. It was the sixth and final stop on our epic 2017 Europe trip. Uh, where we went to five countries, six cities total. Now, to be fair and transparent, Dublin was really just a long layover. We actually had a 14-hour layover, which with about five, maybe six hours of sleep, uh, still gave us some time to go out and explore the city. Uh, it was a wet day. It was raining on and off pretty much the entire time we were in Dublin. But uh, essentially what happened is we came in to the city really late, uh, from Barcelona and you can check out those videos on the channel as well uh, we posted up at a hotel I booked ahead of time and we woke up early the next day we put our bags with the concierge at the hotel got some breakfast and basically took off so a lot of what we did was within, within walking distance um, I do remember taking some taxis to get around to long distances between the sites but as is the case with this video, we're just kind of uh, taking a brisk walk around the city. So we are approaching Dublinia, which is a museum slash church. Um, and I'll let the video play out. I do want to let you know this will probably be the shortest of all the videos relating to this trip. Dublina. Ah, wow, look at that bridge. That's ah, beautiful. While there's more video footage of Dublinia playing, I will tell you a quick story. We were at the airport in Barcelona and we had the nicest Irish couple uh, standing behind us in what was at the time a really long line to uh, check into the flight. And they were like the nicest people we met on our entire trip. Uh, so kind and funny. That's the other thing I remember is they were hysterical. And here's a little bit of footage in the taxi on the way to the Guinness factory. You cannot go to Dublin, Ireland without visiting the Guinness factory. It is Willy Wonka's factory for adults. Uh, it's seven stories. This place is massive. And one of the few places we actually booked ahead of time. A lot of what we did in Dublin was on the fly. But knowing how popular of an attraction this is, we booked ahead of time. Uh, and we knew what day and approximately what time we wanted to visit. So it was kind of easy to book online ahead of time. And I want to give credit where credit is due. This place is so well run and well organized. Uh, no knock on the Heineken factory we went to in Amsterdam, but this was a much more pleasant and easy to follow experience. Everybody's knowledgeable. There's easy to read signage. Um, there's really like sort of your own self-guided way to get around it without needing uh, somebody hand holding you the whole way. Uh, and of course, as you can see there, there's a store where you can spend a, a bunch of money on souvenirs and uh, anything else you want to take home. We actually have a shelf at home where we buy trinkets uh, from all of our travels across the world. And uh, we've been lucky enough to stockpile that, uh, that shelf. And at this point, we are at the highest level in the factory where the uh, ticket, the entrance to the factory includes a free beer, of course. You don't get to keep the glass, but it does include a free beer. And uh, it's at the highest level where it overlooks the entire city of Dublin with amazing 360 degree views. Um, I could have used still photos in these uh, videos. We went to the Jameson Distillery. Uh, we went to a couple of other really cool places in Dublin, but I'm really just trying to keep it to the videos that I took. And as you probably heard me explain a couple times on these videos, back in 2017, I didn't have the camera gear, the stabilizers, all the cool gadgets I have now. And I was taking so many more still photos than I was video. I've changed the way that I document our travels and hopefully can create some really cool videos of later trips that we took. 
but here is a, a little bit more footage from inside the top deck of the Guinness factory. All right, we'll take the first set. Ready? Real Guinness in Ireland. It's delicious. You like Honestly. it? For breakfast. Cheers. On an empty stomach. I'll add a couple of links in the description of all the cool places we went to while we were in Dublin. But that's it. This is the sixth and final city on our 2017 Epic Europe trip where we went to six cities in five countries. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.